I wanted to ask you about Ross Byrne specifically because uh, regarding his performance, that wouldn't be the consensus necessarily, I don't think, or at least I've seen plenty of people who felt as though the question that I believed uh, had been answered with Burns' selection over the last few games uh, was sort of back open. And that, uh, for example, when Jack Crowley came on with his run threat, it was immediately, immediately apparent how a player like him would, would suit my cat's attack better. I would say, though, as well, that elements of Burns' performance have to be, or how they're interpreted, have to be tempered by the fact that you have a makeshift midfield outside of you, like, which changes everything. A brand new partnership that uh, he doesn't play with week to week, but also have, who haven't played together in the middle like that before. So what was it about his performance that you felt was fine or good? I think he kind of had a frustrating start with his kicking game, which was a little bit jarring. He missed hit a few kicks out of hand, and it's very rare from him. He got very much on top of that. I thought some of his line kicking in particular going into the corner was excellent. He puts it on the five-meter line. He's really confident and brave with those. Um, he would have been disappointed to miss a couple of place kick, but we know that's a absolutely elite area of his game. I thought he did have some lovely touches on the ball in attack. I thought he directed play really well. Even when he didn't feature on the ball, you can see him you know, get those wider angles, directing play really well. He's comfortable in that. An example of his passing game was the, the Hugo Keenan try. I think he takes the ball to the line so well there. He's a real threat himself. He's not giving that early cue out the back to Hansen. It's a late ball just before the defender hits him. And Hansen then has the, the catch pass to put Aki into space for, for the line break. That was excellent from, from Byrne. And there were another couple of instances like that. When they go down the left-hand side for Aki's try as well, he swings the ball out the, the back to McCluskey in that instance. And he gets smashed just after the pass. thought that was really good to see. And he has looked very comfortable in the attack and shape over the last um, over this championship, I think he's he's fitted in really well. Uh, I I did think them that him and Casey made some good decisions around the game. I thought they were pretty calm, even in that patch where the game could have got away from them if if Brex had just connected with that cross kick to Rutza a little bit better. Um, but we probably saw the deficiencies that are in his game as well. You know, he's not quick. He's not the most explosive athlete, and that's particularly apparent in in defense. I think obviously his footwork isn't as quick as some other guys, and it, they're tiny little subtleties, but that can just slow everything outside. There was one bit in, in open play the, the time that Italy broke down the left-hand side where he gets outpaced by Menoncello as well, but generally you're not going to find yourself in that position. So on the whole, I thought it was good. It's his Six Nations um, first start. I know he's been around the block and I know he's got experience, but it is a, a, another step up. I know it's, people say it's, it's Italy, but we know they're... They're good, and I thought it was pretty composed. I, I, as I said to you on Friday, I'm not in the same boat as you. I don't think this is all done and dusted, and he's going to the World Cup as number two. Um, you know, Carberry was there on the touchline. He's done well back in camp, apparently, and, and I agree that Crowley has lots of pluses as well. So I still think there's a road to run in it, but I think it was a positive outing for him. And, and the same for Casey. There'll be bits he wants to get back. Obviously, that low pass to, to James Lowe on, on the exit and, and Lowe himself would probably feel he should have taken it anyway. Um, but he made some brilliant decisions and some of his passing was a delight. I thought for the first try, for the James Ryan try, the way he picked out Aki, skipped beyond the obvious ball carrier who, who was Ryan and allows him to go and win that collision. Therefore, he can offload. That all sends back to a brilliant pass from Casey. Something similar for the Hansen try as well, where Byrne really cleverly swings around the corner late. He has his hands up. He's a potential and probably obvious target for the pass, but Casey goes one wider and the Italian defenders just kind of just and, and Hansen has the space to finish. So those little bits were really pleasing from, from them. And I agree with, with Farrell, it'll be a priceless, priceless experience for them. They'll learn loads from those bits that they missed. And um, I think they'll improve because of that. 